Macon Bibb County fire investigators say arson could be to blame for an early morning house fire on 3rd Street. Today's fire marks the second blaze on that street this week and fire officials are looking to see if the two are connected. 41 NBC's Amanda Castro joins us in the studio now with more details. So far this year, arson investigators have worked six cases, three of them just this week alone. It may seem like an alarming number in such a short amount of time, but the fire department says over the years, they haven't seen an increase in arson fires. But with the recent rash of blazes, the community is worried for its safety. On Monday, firefighters are investigating an early morning house fire in, Ma in downtown Macon as arson. Tuesday, Macon firefighters are investigating an attempted arson attack after someone threw a Molotov cocktail on a front porch. And Friday, ah. how big? Flames. I'm talking about woo. Courtney Calloway lives next door to this abandoned house off 3rd Street. When she came home early Friday morning, she saw flames fill the air. It could have spread it and hit our house. Thank the Lord that it didn't. The blaze destroyed the backside of this home. As soot falls to the ground and the smell of smoke lingers, officials are adding this fire to the growing number of arson investigations this year. It definitely raises an eyebrow uh, with all the, all the few fires that we've had and uh, the fact that they are in abandoned houses and structures. People tend to uh, navigate to those houses for shelter, especially during the winter time. That's normally when they try to start small fires to keep warm and and they end up leaving those fires unattended. First, an arson fire several blocks down this way, and now one right here. People on the street say they never expected it to hit so close to home, and they don't know which house is next. I believe the house across the street gonna be next, and it's gonna catch the house next to that, spread and catch anybody else's house out here. And she wants the city to step in and do something about it. I just think the city need to get on their job and get rid of all the old abandoned houses so we won't have another fire like this. Chief Stevens says the fire department relies on the community to prevent fires like these. If you know anything, you want to make sure you report any unsecured homes and if you see something suspicious. And if you know anything about these fires, call the arson hotline at 1-800-282-5804.